And welcome back, everybody. This is episode 13 of the CS Sports Talk. I'm Lily Maddox, and that's Sean Campbell. We'll get an applause Ooh. today. Oh, yeah. Episode 13, Lily. I know. I think, we, I think uh, and we're just about to sign our contract for another 100 episodes. Because yes. Because the first 13 have gone so well. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah we're, our, our agents are negotiating a three-year deal. A <laughs> three-year deal. <laughs> A three-year deal at one hundred dollars a year. For, Ooh, that we'll have to split. Okay, fifty dollars yeah. a year. Yeah, if you want fifty-fifty, that's generous of you. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, you think I should get some more? Uh, Me too. I, I, <laughs> if I were you, I'd settle for eighty twenty. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. I'll take. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You're the star of the show. Am Whenever I? I get asked about this, it's people are always amazed about how much you know. Well, there, I forgot who it was, but somebody's like, no one knows more about sports than you, Sean. I'm like, <laughs> and I was like, you should come on the show. Yeah. And he's like, no, because Lily knows way more than I what? do as well. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's funny. Well, if you guys ever yep. do want to be on the show, you Absolutely. can tell us what you want to talk about, mm -hmm. and then it can make you look like you yeah. know more than us. Yeah, special, that's what Tyson did. Special thanks to Tyson. Yeah, talking about the Bundesliga. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that episode, go check it yeah. out because it was really fun for me yeah. to learn more about the Bundesliga. And we got Gordy from Login coming in to talk some um, indie racing. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. He's yeah. coming in. In May, May, I think. May, I think. We, we should get them ahead of time yeah. just to preview that. Yeah, you know? for sure. So if you guys yeah. know something about a sport, just come in and yeah. do do some research before it if you want Yeah. to make it seem like pickle you're smart. Pickleball. We got some pickleballers Ooh. out there, right? Yes. I know some of you guys play pickleball. Especially I love if you've pickleball. been injured by pickleball, yes. you need to come in and talk yes. to us about your injury. <laughs> yes, please. It's happening a lot. Pickleball it, yeah. is growing. Yeah. Yeah, somebody come and talk to us about pickleball. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll enjoy that one. I'll never be on a pickleball courts. I'm too competitive. I will get hurt. Yeah, I'll end up in the ER. I, I could see guaranteed. that. Guaranteed. I could see that. Guaranteed. Yeah, you know, it's no so way. fun though. It's so fun. Yeah, it looks fun. But and you you'd get hooked yeah. if you yeah. if you started. I'm too competitive. And uh, last week you I was too. at an at top uh, an event at Top Golf. Mm -hmm. I did not like. You know, tee, tee it up and hit because I'm too competitive and I would have been just not fun to be around. <laughs> I don't go bowling with friends for the same reason. Uh, I'm just too competitive and, and too just like, we got to go by the rules. Yeah. I got to beat you. You know, yeah. I'm not, I don't I'm like not to fine. lose. I do not like yeah. to lose. Yeah. And all my friends know that. So, <laughs> oh, I was just at a, at a camp with my church and me and my friend were playing ping pong and I've never been good at ping pong, but like, I was just doing so bad and I was getting so frustrated. I couldn't uh -huh. even have fun because uh -huh. I was like, I'm doing too bad that this is not even fun for me. Yeah. It's, yeah. I can't casually play sports at all. That's that, just that's, not that's how we what do makes it. us good is what we do. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. We talk about yeah. other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have a question. Yep. So, um, we're getting back to our normal routine where we'll have a question. We'll have some topics to talk about. Where's, um, where's Aaron today? Oh, where is Aaron I heard he got, today? I heard he was in the library yesterday. Oh, he right. He fell asleep and he got locked in. Right, yeah. So I think he's still locked inside the he's library. He's still trying to get morning. out. So, yeah. Still trying yeah. To get out of so we're, we're missing Aaron today. Um, hopefully Again. he'll be back next yeah. week. Hopefully. hopefully he won't fall asleep at the library. But yeah, yeah. yeah we are missing Aaron. Again. Mm. Again, I know. Slacking. But hopefully he'll be back next week. Anyway, we'll get back to our question. We've got a question for you guys. So we've got more recent news that Sean told me about mm -hmm. that there was an incident at the Duke in what was it? What was Wake it? Forest. Wake Forest. Duke and Wake Forest at their basketball game after Wake Forest beat Duke. Mm -hmm. um, the Wake Forest fans stormed the court and hurt a Duke player. He sprained his little ankle. Um, <laughs> so our question for you guys is, do you guys think court storming should be banned? Mm, good hmm. question. Yeah. Good question. What do you think, Sean? You know, my, my big thing about this is like, why is it now? Why are we talking about it now after a Duke player gets yeah. hurt? And what I don't like about it, right? I don't mind the fans storming the court. And there's something you told me about it before we came on. That, you know, it, I, I'm kind of, I, I understand why a school may ban it. 
Mm-hmm. But why does it take a Duke player to yeah. get hurt before that's even like something that's serious discussion? Mm-hmm. It was just, you know, we're getting notifications from the ESPN app. You know, they're talking about it on first take this morning. It's a huge like quote unquote controversy now, but it's a Duke player. And he also said that it was intentional. Yeah. There's a lot of footage on this little incident where if that's intentional, then, you know, I'll work here at CS for the next year for free. <laughs> it was not intentional. Yeah. R- rabbit, crazy fans. They just beat one of the best, you know, basketball programs year after year for decades now. The guy was not trying to hurt the Duke player at yeah. all. Yeah. No, there, there's no way. Now, I do want to put some of the responsibility on the players themselves because if he's worried about his little NIL money or is like you said, his little ankle, <laughs> if that's what the biggest concern about this, yeah. then you need to get off the court immediately when you see, you, you know, you got to yeah. do something to yeah. protect yourself, protect your money that's coming in, mm-hmm. you know, you're getting this free ride to Duke, Yeah, you know? So I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not opposed to it being a ban. Mm-hmm. I just don't like that it's taken this little dookie you know and him crying about it (gasps) and the duke coach crying about it you know before something's actually done about it yeah you know at any level you know and you know you're going to tell the story about tucson high yeah this should have been banned years ago if we're really concerned about the player safety yeah so what he's talking about at tucson high so our athletic director when i went to high school um we I have stormed the court before, like before our new athletic director came in, like every time we won a basketball game, like Mm -hmm. we were going to the court, we were having a good time and it was so fun for us. And then we had a new athletic director come in and she was like firm no on storming the court. And we were like, why? Like, we're just Mm -hmm. trying to have fun. Like, why can't we storm the court? Because it was so fun for all of us. We just thought that she was being a party pooper. And then she told us about years and years ago, um, I'm not sure how long ago, mm-hmm. but years ago, there was a basketball player at Tucson High. Um, fans stormed the court, and he actually got paralyzed. So, like Sean's saying, if they're really concerned about players' safety, it, um, I feel like it should have been banned a while ago. Yeah, that decades ago, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Why should it take a Duke player who over-exaggerated that it was intentional, that hurt, mm-hmm. like you said, his quote-unquote little ankle, right? <laughs> Before it becomes like something, okay, now we got to look into it. Yeah. What about just a few weeks ago? A few weeks ago, um, Iowa, uh, women's basketball, Caitlin Clark. Mm, Yeah. She got killed. (laughs) She got crushed. I saw that video. That was Mm -hmm. legit. Yeah. That was legit. That looked like if if something was intentional, that did look more, way more intentional than... The Duke guy. Yeah, even that, like, you could go either way. And that but... was a legit crunch. Yeah. <laughs> she oh, yeah. was wiped out. Yeah, she right? was. Uh-huh. So why wasn't it a big concern when she mm-hmm. got, you know, yeah. uh, so, but yeah, now that the Duke guy, who's, by the way, was seven footer. Yeah. You know, and this guy that hit him looked like he was all of like five foot four or <laughs> 32, you know, so yeah, don't give me that. Don't yeah. Give me that. Yeah, so I think if it's really a concern (laughs) of safety, then, yeah, I'm not opposed to banning it Mm -hmm. if it really is about safety. but Yeah, and let's face it, Caitlin Clark is a way more formidable player and means way more to the sport in general than Philip Kowski. Yeah, I've never even heard his name. No offense, but... No offense, I've never heard his name. I mean, you know, talk about a double double standard there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Caitlin, Caitlin Clark has revolutionized the women's game. Yes, absolutely. And whether you love her or not, she's, and she's going to tear great. up the WNBA. I can't wait yeah. to see her, right? Yeah. She's got some attitude, you yeah. know. It's good for the game. Yeah. You know? It's so, fun to watch. It's fun to watch. You love her or hate her. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, but you got to respect her, whether you're But you're right. It's fun to watch. You yeah, know? She's shooting absolutely. threes from the logo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She hit some, like, point landmark. Like I'm not sure whatever it was, yeah. like... Yeah. Something career points, and she was like, 
well, I knew it was coming. So of course I had to hit it from the logo. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And she <laughs> says course. it like, you know, I'm arrogant. I got to follow through on my arrogancy. Yeah. And I got to hit it from the logo. Yeah. That, that, that was the, yeah, the career points, most career points by any woman in um, NCAA history. Yeah. Something like that. I knew it was yeah. some point landmark, but it was yeah. just funny. Like yeah. she knows she's good, but it's okay because yeah. she, she is good. <laughs> yeah. And she did not, you know, have a little sprained ankle. Her, yeah. her collision was way worse. Yeah. She she was not like face down on the court. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this guy and all his little teammates and his coach. Were, oh, poor guy. Let's go. Let's help you off the court. Mm. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I don't know. So you guys let us know what you think. If court storming should be banned. I feel like you could be either way on this one. I've been on both sides of it when I was. Yeah. Saying this like it was a long time ago, it wasn't. But when I was in high school, like my early years of high school, we would storm the court after every basketball game, and I thought it was. So you know, fun, if you're so but... worried about it, don't be such a great team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fans won't want to storm the court after they beat exactly. you. Exactly. Right? If you're worried about it, this guy should transfer to like Duquesne. <laughs> yeah, like transfer the worst to Ari- transfer to Arizona State. <laughs> you know, they they'll <gasps> never have to worry about oh. it. Him and his little ankle will be fine for the rest of oh, his career. Oh, no. I think you know? we need to switch topics before, <laughs> before people go to unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to Arizona State University. <laughs> uh, I'll be mean, very clear. You'll never have to worry about fans storming a court after you lose. I think we'll just transition to our <laughs> uh, next topic here, which is U of A basketball. And if you guys don't know why um, Sean's talking about ASU like that, a um, couple weeks ago, two weeks ago maybe, mm-hmm. U of A beat ASU by a mile. 45. 20 miles. 45. <laughs> yeah, our, quite our, a bit. The people at the very end of our bench, you know, I heard, and if you look back at the videotape, some of my buddies who were there actually got to play against ASU, and they they put up twelve points, twelve points, nine rebounds yeah. in three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> those that's weren't, crazy. Those weren't U of A players. They're little white guys that I know. They're just on the anybody. Court. Yeah, just anybody. Yeah, they were like anybody yeah. could beat them. Anybody now. could beat them. But <laughs> anyway, they did have their not starters in for a while, and we're still putting up points. So right. that was pretty cool. And right. it's always cool to be ASU when you're. A U of A fan. Any rival, right? It doesn't matter what Any sport rival. because um, ASU is not awesome at basketball. They're not bad. But, They're not awesome in much. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. They're not awesome in much. But it's still uh-huh. great to beat them because yeah, it doesn't care how good they are. It's yeah. great to beat them in every yep. sport. Yep. But So that was a good game. But more recently, yeah. um, U of A lost on to Washington Thursday State. night to Washington State. I was yeah. at the rodeo on Friday, mm-hmm. and one of the announcers for the rodeo is a Washington State fan, oh. and he would not shut up about it. It was like it was actually making people in the crowd mad, because obviously we're yeah. in Tucson, yeah. and they're not from Tucson. They travel everywhere to do the rodeo, and so um, he was from Washington, mm-hmm. and he was he kept going on. He, he was loving that he was making people mad it was really funny but mm-hmm. um yeah what was the score of that game do you... we lost by four yeah it was close yeah. it yeah. was close i did catch a little bit of that game um and then sean mm-hmm. told me that they then went and lost to, to ASU, asu who we beat by 45 yeah so ugh, it's funny I mean, how that in works washington state they were ranked you know i don't know what they're ranked today but they're 21 Wow. Ranked 21. So they're a good team. Yeah. Second best team in the Pac-12. Mm-hmm. And their win Thursday put them in first place of the Pac-12 conference. Wow. They had the inside track to mm-hmm. winning the regular season championship, right? And being number yeah. one seed for the Pac-12 tournament, et cetera, right? Yeah. Then losing ASU put them back down to second. Yeah. So as much as I'm like making fun of ASU. Thank you, Sun yes, Devils, for yes. helping us out. Finally showing up. <laughs> yeah, finally showing yeah. up and winning the game against a formidable team. Yeah. It was amazing mm-hmm. that Washington State beats us on our home court, which rarely happens. Yeah. Right? Then they go to ASU and they lose. Yeah. And it wasn't, that, it wasn't a close game. No. So yeah. that it was unreal. And thank you again, ASU, yes, for thank doing you. that. I really appreciate you yeah. know, that. But... <laughs> Just helping us wow. out. Wow. Yeah. So we're back on top. Of now course. We, now we just got to win out, which I think we will. 
Yeah. To, Do we know, have any competition coming nah, up on the schedule? No, not really. Nobody really to worry about? No. Uh-uh. That's good. Yeah. So it, it's unreal, that little flip-flop. I know. So Yeah, it really is, especially after U of A just yeah. beat ASU yeah. by so much. But yeah. they helped us out, so <laughs> sure not did. complaining. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited to see um, U of A basketball keep going. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they yep. keep it up. we got the uh, Pac-12 tournament in yes. a few weeks Yes. Um, in Vegas. Wow. And then uh, the week after that, we'll hopefully we'll be a number one seed out in the West for March Madness. Yeah. You know where the championship, you know the Final Four is going to be in this year? Where is it? In Glendale. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe we should go. If we can make it. Yeah. And do a mobile podcast out there. Ooh, we're that probably, would be We'll awesome. probably get sued by the NCAA, but eh, eh, exposure, who cares? right? Exactly. It'll put our show it's on the map. All over the news. <laughs> yeah. Then everybody will be watching the CS yeah. Sports stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm very excited to see how that all plays out. Hopefully they make it. We'll go if they make it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's we'll let do Wyatt it. Know. Yeah. Well, and Michael. Michael? Yeah. Yeah. We got to, why will go with us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we'll tell Michael he he just yeah. has to pay for it. And then you know, I think one of those situations, Lily, where we ask forgiveness rather than permission. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. <laughs> forgiveness is better than permission sometimes. <laughs> We're going to move on a little bit um, from basketball into baseball, and so I know mm. we previewed spring training a couple weeks ago, talking about how it's coming up. Well, it's happening. It's happening now. It's going on. Um. And there's been a little bit of controversy about the uniforms, actually. So Nike supplies MLB uniforms. And um, I was reading a little bit about it, and they signed like a $1 billion contract with them back in 2020. So they've been supplying their uniforms. Um, Under Armour used to do it, is what Mm -hmm. I was reading. And then since 2020, Nike's been doing the MLB uniforms. Mm -hmm. And they just switched over to some... Like a peak performance yeah. material, mm-hmm. something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and people are you, not liking it. I think I was wearing it uh, Saturday, my Angels um, City Connect. Uh-huh. And it was actually a peak performance. So the material is really light. Mm-hmm. It seems kind of durable. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the big controversy is like, all the lettering is messed up. The logos are kind of messed up. Yeah. Yeah. And... The, Sean said, like, the names on the back are, like, really curvy, oddly like, curved. Yeah. And I was reading a little bit about it, and mm. it was saying how the material has a hard time with, like, bigger numbers, and mm-hmm. so it just looks weird. And yeah. then also that um, the lighter colored pants are see-through. <laughs> so, Which um, can be an issue. Yeah, it can be quite can the issue. Be a little bit um, of an issue. S- Especially when you're playing sports, because you you'll, you're moving a lot. Yeah. So there's been a lot of players and fans um, complaining about this new, mm. these new uniforms coming out. Yeah. Um, Nike said they are still going to continue to work with um, the MLB, um, no matter mm-hmm. what people think of the uniforms. They're still going to continue to work with them, which I think Nike is usually pretty. Um, reputable when it comes yeah. to uniforms and everything. Like all when, of when my high of school Nike, uniforms were like Nike. Your fir- really? Yeah. Wow. When you yeah. think of well, the yeah, actually they all were, and they were nice. What are the first like words that you think of right off the bat when you see the Nike logo? Just do it. <laughs> yeah, just do it. <laughs> but was I supposed to say something else? No, no. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll just. For, for me, it's like, you know, high quality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nothing Nike that's authentic anyway. <laughs> yeah. Sells is, is cheap. Yeah. It's all, you know, not not cheap. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the, these uniforms look cheap. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> Very amateur. Yeah. <clears throat> so I wonder if they're going to do something about I it. I know. I yeah. don't know. That's what yeah. I'm curious about because they did say, like, they're 100% still going to work with the MLB and... um. But I didn't read anything about if they were going to send out some more. I think they or... need to go back to the uniforms of last year until they get this one right. Yeah, yeah, you know? I agree. And I think I, don't I would agree with that. I don't care what the expense is. Nike's worth a billion dollars. Uh, yeah, they right? they can they can throw some money out the window and be yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's get this done. Let's let the players look good. They yeah. deserve it. And if it's going to be a time to do it, now's the time to do it because it's spring, spring training. training right. So they can. 
they, they can got practice about a month. in those uniforms they got for about a bit a month. and then yeah. yeah and then get the good ones when yeah. it when it's time yeah. to start but yeah watch a few spring training games and you'll see you'll see some players that and it's not atypical for a player not to have his name on the back, but there's a lot of players that don't have their, even their name on the back. Wow. Um, there was a Cub. I think it was a Cub that he was just a single digit number, number four. Uh huh. And it was way off on the left side, and his I, name was. I saw all, that. Yeah, one. that was weird. Yeah. Huh? It's just it, they look yeah. like they rushed through the, mm, yeah. the making, but yeah. What you can't do when there's that many people watching. It's <laughs> can't amazing really get that away there's no quality that. control. I know, especially in Nike. You'd think this huge corporation yeah. would yeah. be able to get things right. Yeah. But hopefully they make yeah. things right. That's what I, I feel like that's the only option here. Because yeah. especially when it's not just a design issue, but with the pants being see-through, like that's... <laughs> Kind of got to fix that. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys let us know what you guys think. Go ahead and look it up. Look up some of these new uniforms and how they look. Um, mm -hmm. Because they just don't look right. They just right. don't look right. Yeah. Yeah. Put in the comments below who your favorite team is and what you think about their uniforms now. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then also one positive thing. I always love the spring training uh, ball caps. Ooh. Because it's a little bit different. Yeah. You know, um, the Cubs this year has ha actually have the Cub on them Ooh. instead of the C. Yeah. So they're always kind of a little bit different, you know. Mm, I'll have to sell. look into that. I, mean, I should have worn my uh, Angels hat from a few years ago today. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that's always kind of cool because they, they mix it up a little bit for the spring train. I think the Yankees have, I think it's kind of white right here in the front with the logo on there or something. Mm. Like that. It's a little bit different, I think. Cool. Yeah. 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 Every team does something a little bit different. That's you know, super cool. Unusual for spring training. Yeah, I'll have to look into those. And if you guys didn't see the big reveal of my new yeah. baseball team, I am yeah. now a Yankees fan, and I'm going to a game on April 1st. I am yeah. going to a game with my stepdad because he's also a Yankees fan, mm -hmm. and I'll be sure to take some videos and yeah. show you guys, but yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah. 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 So the, uh, the response on that, Lily... Um, I mean, you're you're a true Yankees fan already because some people loved it and other people yeah. hated it. Yeah. Just get used to it. Yeah. Just get used to it. It's That's okay. Part of, I can take know. it. I'm a Raiders fan, so yeah. the same same thing goes yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Raiders right. are similar to cow to the Cowboys when it comes to the fans when, like when, that. Yeah, they love you or hate you. Exactly. There's One no in between. or the other. Yeah. Well, you guys let us know um, about our first question. If you guys think mm -hmm. court storming should be banned, we want to hear you guys, all of your opinions on court that storming one. storming or field, rushing the field after, yes. you know. Yes, Either one. Either one. Yeah, yeah I know uh, U of A fans like to storm the field sometimes after football games. Yeah. I've seen yeah. that. So, yeah. yeah, court storming, field storming, if that's what they call it. Let us know what you guys think of that, if it should be banned or if you think it's fun and people are just being soft. Mm -hmm. So let us know what you think about that. Oh, and the MLB uniforms. Go ahead and look them up if you haven't seen them yet, and then let us know what you guys think about yeah. that. And yeah. then we will see you guys next week. For episode 14. 14. Awesome. See you guys. Bye.